Two months after the Battle of Fredericksburg, a sergeant named Thomas Plunkett from Massachusetts uh, made his way to the United States Capitol. Clara Barton happened to be with him and introduced him to uh, one of the most powerful politicians in the land, Senator Henry Wilson of Massachusetts. Uh, Senator Wilson uh, stepped forward to meet uh, Sergeant Plunkett uh, and he extended his hand to shake Thomas Plunkett's hand. Uh, but Plunkett stood there rather frozen uh, because as Clara Barton later narrated, he had no hand to offer to shake the senator's hand. He had lost both of his hands at the Battle of Fredericksburg. Uh, Thomas Plunkett became somewhat famous uh, at the Battle of Fredericksburg, uh, both because of his incredibly heroic deeds. Uh, he had uh, been on the great bloody field in front of Marie's Heights and had taken the flag of the 21st Massachusetts, his regiment, which was also the regiment that Clara Barton tended to spend most of her time with. Uh, he took the flag of the 21st Massachusetts and was almost immediately hit in the arms with an artillery shell, uh, and he lost both hands. Uh, he became uh, notable, or was noted in the press, because he was a machinist. And this idea of this young man, uh, a machinist, now forcing to conf force to confront life with no hands to work as machines, uh, he became something of a sympathetic celebrity in the North. Uh, his story spread. Uh, he was, uh, a couple months uh, after the battle, discharged from the United States Army, uh, and he made his way home by rail through Philadelphia and New York and Boston. He lived right outside of Worcester. Uh, and on his way home, uh, various groups rallied to raise money for him. And over the course of his trip home, he raised almost $10,000, or rather his supporters raised almost $10,000 to help him get through uh, the rest of his life. In the midst of tragedy, like battles, um, nations always try to find heroic figures that they can hold up and admire. And Sergeant Thomas Plunkett was certainly one of them. Uh, but he was never able to return to his trade as a machinist. Uh, he eventually became the sergeant in arms in the Massachusetts State Legislature. Uh, his fame of 1862 faded, and for much of his life he suffered severely from the pains of his wounds earned here at Fredericksburg.